All right, guys, so let's look at this um, packet. We're talking about similar polygons. So similar polygons are polygons that are um, similar. So they're not congruent, they're just similar. So they have, they have the same shape, oops, but they are different sized, okay? So they look exactly the same, just one's bigger, one's smaller. So there are two facts that we know about similar um, polygons. We know if they are similar, then the corresponding angles or the matching, so corresponding, which means matching angles are congruent. So if I have two shapes, like for instance, if I have a small triangle and a big triangle, and they are similar, okay, they're the same shape but different size, then all the corresponding angles would be congruent to each other. Okay, and a second fact about this is corresponding or matching, right, um, sides are proportional. Okay, so proportional. What does proportional mean? It just means it looks the same when it's big or small, kind of like on your phone or like on this device. When I do this, when I zoom in and out, everything looks the same. It just changes its size. That's called proportional. It keeps the same ratio of the sizes. Okay, because if it didn't stay proportional, then everything would get all, you know, would look all deformed and different sizes and nothing would look right. But since everything looks the same, it's proportional. Okay, so we'll talk about ratios and, and um, proportions later. Um, but those are the two facts. If we have two polygons that are similar, they have the same shape but different size. And the two facts are the matching angles or corresponding angles are congruent. And the matching sides or corresponding sides are proportional. Okay, so the ratio of the corresponding sides, so um, how they're related, how the sides are related from big to small or small to big, is called the scale factor. And we talked about this when we talked about um, dilations. Remember back when we talked about um, tra um, transformations? Um, dilation was when we, we uh, made the figure bigger or smaller by a scale factor. Okay, so we're going to be finding that scale factor, that ratio. And then um, if polygons are similar, then their perimeters are also proportional. Okay, so that means um, the distance around the polygons are proportional. They have the same scale factor as the sides do. Okay, so let's, let's look at scale factor. Let's talk about what scale factor is. So if we look here, there's a triangle ABC and DEF, and these two are similar to each other. And how do we know they're similar? Well, if you look at the angles, angle A and angle D are congruent, angle B and angle E are congruent, Angle C and angle F are congruent. So all the corresponding angles are congruent, so they are similar. So since they are similar, we can write a ratio. And the way we write a ratio, that scale factor between these, is we look at the corresponding side. So if I look at AB, it's eight units long. What side on the other triangle corresponds to AB? And that's right, DF. I'm sorry, DE. And that's 12 units long. So the ratio is 8 to 12. 8 to 12, and that's a, that's a fraction I can simplify. If I divide the numerator and denominator by 4, I would get 2 thirds. So 2 thirds is the scale factor. Well, we're basically saying the small triangle is 2 thirds the size of the big triangle. And so if we do that to each side, we'd see that's the same. BC right here, and EF, or corresponding, so that means we have a 10 to 15 ratio. And if we divide the numerator denominator by 5, we would also get 2 thirds. And if we look here, AC, which is 14, matches with DF, which is 21. That's a 14 to 21 ratio. If we simplify that, guess what that is? Also 2 thirds. Okay, so that is our scale factor. So that's going from 
A, B, C to D, E, F. What if I was going backwards? If I was going from D, E, F to A, B, C, the order matters. If we look up here, we are going from the small triangle to the big triangle. So it's going two to three. Small to big. If we're looking at D, E, F to A, B, C, now we're going from big triangle to small triangle. That's why it says right here on the side, the order matters. Okay, so when we're writing this ratio, are we going from small to big? Or are we going from big to small? The order matters. So this, if we write the scale factor from triangle DEF back to ABC, the big triangle to the small triangle, we would look at this and we'd start with DE, which is 12, and we go what corresponds to DE? What we said before was AB, which is 8. So we would say that's a 12 to 8 ratio, which if we divide it by 4 in the numerator and denominator, we would get 3 over 2. And so the scale factor is 3 over 2. It's 3 halves bigger, or 1 and a half times bigger than the small one. Okay, because we're going from big to small. So what is the ratio of the perimeter of Angle D E F, a triangle D E F to triangle A B C. Well, we said their perimeters are also proportional with the same scale factor. But what are we going? Are we going from big to small or small to big? And if we look here, we're going from big triangle to small triangle. And what was the scale factor for the big to small triangle? It was three to two. So the perimeters are also a three to two ratio or scale factor. So that's how we look at scale factors. Now let's look at similarity statements. So you guys saw this symbol before. You were asking what it was. It's a little squiggly line. That means similar. Okay. So a valid similarity statement must match corresponding angles and sides. So if I'm going to, um, just like we remember we did our congruent triangles, we had to have triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. A had to match with the first one, D. B had to match with the second one, E, and C had to match with F. Those that they had to be corresponding or matching. We have to do the same thing for um, similarity. So if I look at these triangles that we're working with, we can say triangle ABC is similar to triangle, well, what matches with A? That's what we have to put first, and that's D. What matches with B? That would be E, so we put that second. And what matches with C would be F, so we have to put that third. So that is a valid similarity statement in the proper matching or corresponding order. Okay, So if we look down here, list all congruent angles and write a proportion that relates to the corresponding angle sides. So number one says triangle JKL is similar to triangle PMN. So that means angle J corresponds to angle P, angle K corresponds to angle M, and angle L corresponds to angle N. Okay, so they're not always going to draw the triangles in the same orientation or the same way. You have to match the, the points or the, uh, the vertices of the triangles by the similarity statement, just like we do the congruent triangles. So J matches with P, K matches with M, L matches with N. And so I mark my angles because remember, if triangles are similar, corresponding angles are congruent. So J and P. So what angles are congruent? We can write here. Angle J is congruent to angle P. Angle K is congruent to angle M. And angle L is congruent to angle N. Okay. Now, here's the trickier part. Now, the angles are congruent, but the sides are proportional. So now we have to put sides in proportions. So remember, order matters. So if, it, if you have a choice to pick which one goes in the numerator, which one goes in the denominator, go ahead. But you have to put that. So I'm going to put small triangle on top and then large triangle on the bottom. So let's, let's pick a side of the small triangle. So I'm going to look at the small triangle. I'm going to do JK. Okay, JK. So JK, what 
is the corresponding or matching side on the other triangle for JK. Well, JK goes from J to K, and we know J matches with P, K matches with M, so it should be PM. So JK is proportional to PM. Small triangle on top, large triangle on the bottom. And that ratio equals, let's pick KL, right? So KL matches with, well, K is with M, L is with N, so MN. So KL makes a ratio with MN. And so that ratio also equals the other side. And let's make sure we go in the right order. LJ, so I'm going to do LJ is proportional or makes a ratio with NP. Okay. Let me just zoom in on that. Um, I don't like the way that P looks. Let's NP. Okay, so this is how we write proportions, we write ratios. And we first choose, are we going to go large to small or small to large? I decided to go small in the numerator, large in the denominator, and I just make ratios of the corresponding or matching sides. JK over PM, right? JK, small triangle, PM, big triangle, equals the same ratio of KL, small triangle, over MN, big triangle. Those are matching sides. Equals the same ratio of the third side, LJ, small triangle, NP, matching side on the big triangle, okay? So go ahead and try two and three on your own, and then in the next video, I'll go over two and three, and then I'll also talk about finding side lengths.